I saw you uh, at the NFL draft. My you, brother and I started VaynerMedia. Two years ago, he left. We started yeah. a Jerry Maguire agency called Vayner Sports. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to build the biggest sports agency in the world. And so you currently represent? Uh, About 15 guys in the NFL. We're NFL right. only. We're looking at esports and NBA. Uh, you know, Braxton Miller, Josh Jackson, uh, Matt Paradis, uh, mm -hmm. on and on and on. And so... Um, we're very excited about that world. I think it's ripe for disruption. Now, what do you mean by that? So for esports, because yes. that, that is something that is off the charts. Yep. But a lot of mainstream sports fans yes. who are listening and watching us right now, eh, that's something that kids do. That's something that, you know, yeah. that, that it's not, I'm not going to sit down and watch a video game. I mean, what, what, what do you see for the future of esports? The Gary? 1982 NBA Finals was on tape delay in America. Mm -hmm. That's what I see which is I don't care what people say now. I know that 36-year-old Rick doesn't care about esports, but the 16-year-old version of him, the exact same person, mm -hmm. thinks that Ninja is one of the three best athletes in the world um, because he's the best Fortnite player in the world. You know, we've seen the ebb and flow, right? Our great-grandfathers thought that horse racing and boxing were the number one and two sports along with baseball of the day. You know, anybody who's naive and doesn't understand the ebb and flow of the favorite sports of our culture, mm -hmm. esports is out the bag. Like, Twitch is, like, dominating. It's here. It's real. And over the next 20, 30 years, it will be a top four sport. Do you think the current conventional top four sports, Gary Vaynerchuk, right now have a millennial problem? I think baseball think? and hockey potentially do. I think that the NBA is dominating. And I think the NFL, you know, and we spend a lot of time in the sports world talking about this, is still kind of like just the limited nature of games, mm -hmm. right? Like TJ's going to lose his mind if the, if the Cowboys lose the first two games of the year. There's only 16 of them. Just the limited nature of that sport, I think, will hold it strong. But you're, po you're pointing to uh, Rich Eisen's show, Social Media yes. Man, Extraordinary TJ Jefferson. Yes. How old are you, TJ? He's up there, Rich. That's He's what also, I'm saying. By the way, has he sat in this seat and talked about wrestling? Because his knowledge is deep. And the world needs to hear it. Well, that I agree with you, Gary. <laughs> okay, just want to that establish not, that. That has not yet happened. Okay, okay. But we do have the platform to do okay, that. Okay, good. But I, I guess my point is, is a, if Bryce just, Harper walked down Main Street anywhere in the U.S. right now, mm -hmm. literally, if Bryce Harper was walking naked through Broadway right now, mm -hmm. a lot of people wouldn't know it's him. That's a bam. Baseball wants to monetize every digital asset problem, and that's a problem mm -hmm. because we're not. You have to build up the athlete, mm -hmm. right? And Trout and Harper and Kershaw don't get enough commercials. And if the content's not living on YouTube and Instagram outside of the MLB network, mm -hmm. there's a problem. Well, did you see the video? I know you've been traveling the world. Did you see the video of Terry Collins that got out there? That, no. Did you see that? Okay, where no. it would, Major League Baseball had Terry Collins. Yep. Um, Terry. Well, actually, he, he, the former Mets manager, this is a year old. You could hear it on the microphone picked up by the Major League Baseball umpire. Somebody leaked it. It was when uh, Collins got thrown out. It was very profane. You could hear the umpire talking yes. about how maybe he was in trouble with yes. Major League Baseball yes. based on what was going on if he if he didn't throw him and his pitcher out for throwing behind somebody, and baseball yanked that off the off the internet because they had a deal with the Major League Baseball umpires yep. to not get it out there. Do you think that's the sort of stuff that maybe sports league should be allowing out there, despite what it might mean for? I think business? you know it's, it's weird. I made the TJ Inside. reference back to wrestling. I think all sports need to take a page out of Vince McMahon's playbook and actually build up these personalities at all costs, mm -hmm. at all costs. Like I, I am um, the fact that Juju Smith Schuster is dramatically more culturally relevant than all of the baseball all-stars combined mm -hmm. is a baseball problem. The mm -hmm. end, Rich, like this is about attention. This is back to my guy, Joe Namath. This is like Sonny made Joe Namath a celebrity mm -hmm. and that drove it. And so this is celebrity culture and the ESPNs and the Barstools and this show and, and social media and all this, this is all about attention arbitrage. And we live in a new world and hockey and baseball are looking backwards for short-term economics. Mm -hmm. The NBA, Adam Silver is dominating these other commissioners, laughing at them probably in his sleep. Uh, and the NFL is just like this big conglomerate, 16 games will, oh, listen, if the NHL goes to 16 games, yeah. it's a top four sport in America. <laughs> like, look at the World Cup, right? Like, people can't, like, by the way, while we're filming right now, like, you know, yeah. I'm so pumped Germany's out. This is just random two cents for, <laughs> yeah. just, like, South Korea punching Germany in the mouth mm -hmm. is about as delicious of a flavor as I could <laughs> taste this morning. I'm very excited. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.